Charles Frederick Goldie, Ina Te Papatahi, Napui. Ina Te Papatahi, of the Napui iwi, or tribe, had moved to Auckland from the Hokianga in 1886. From 1900 she lived at Waipapa, the Māori hostel in Mechanics Bay. Waipapa was a short walk from the studio of Charles Frederick Goldie, who at this time was rapidly establishing a reputation as one of Auckland's leading artists. Ina Te Papatahi first posed for Goldie in 1902. She became one of his favourite models, and he painted her approximately 20 times. Ina's cousin, Harata Rewari Tarapata, who also lived at Waipapa, was another important model for Goldie, and it's possible that Ina assisted Goldie in persuading other models to pose for him. Goldie's career had begun in earnest in 1900. His artistic talent had been evident from an early age, and he first began showing his work when he was only in his mid-teens. In 1893, aged 22, he travelled to Paris to study, returning to New Zealand in 1898. In 1900, he showed six portraits of both Maori and Pākehā, or New Zealanders of European descent, at the Auckland Society of Arts. A newspaper critic wrote of his work, Nothing better has been seen here, and it is abundantly evident that in this gentleman we have an artist who in this branch of his profession may reach any height. Goldie was applauded for the realism and extraordinary detail of his painting, and his portraits of Maori subjects were exceptionally popular. His contemporaries saw these portraits as more than just good likenesses. They were described as representing types, in the sense of specimens that needed collecting before it was too late. As one journalist put it, it is of real importance, apart from picture-making, that the types here so ably delineated should be preserved. The originals are fast disappearing. The popular conception of Maori as a dying race was contradicted by the fact that the Maori population was actually increasing in the early 1900s. Goldie's often sentimental portraits are now seen by some people as relics of colonial racism. At the time, Maori viewers valued Goldie's portraits as depictions of named individuals. They commanded respect and evoked pride. And today the descendants of his subjects regard the portraits as taonga, or precious treasures which provide a vital link to their ancestors.